Welcome back everybody, this is Edward and we are back with Unity Craft. Let me just play with my microphone here so you can hear me. I'm uh, going to be doing a little project here and I figured I'd like to have this little side area here have a mark so people know that this is where I am. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard, uh, it gets very loud sometimes. Um, I got myself a lovely collection of smooth basalt which is lovely and got a few other blocks of random things i've never had before excuse me including um lovely bit of uh what was it in the iron or calcite calcite yeah and we got some nothing really much else nothing really exciting to talk about but i'm hoping we've got enough basalt here to be able to build myself what i wanted to build Ooh, okay, I didn't want to, I certainly do not want to fall down there if I can avoid it And I should probably make myself a little staircase so I can move between the levels and until I get bamboo I don't want to well, I don't really have much else to work with So we're just gonna grab what we've got I'm Gonna build a little staircase leading up the side because I need to be able to get up to the top Certainly in an emergency. There we go. Lovely. And I need to, I've just realized, I need to plant myself some seeds because I do not have any food growing at the moment. So seeds, uh, a little farm, would be very much, uh, would be lovely. Okay, we'll just use some of that. And we'll grab ourselves the spruce log. We'll turn that into planks. We'll turn those into sticks. And then from there, oops grab some cobble and with that we will make ourselves a plow the issue is I don't have a bucket I could make one I have plenty of iron ore there we go I'll make myself a bucket as well while I'm here so I can ensure that my soil is very happy indeed with plenty of water and because I can hear water around me it's driving me a little bit nuts but I don't know where it is though uh, think what I can find now I'm not oh I do not have a pickaxe and that would be rather important ah here we go well let's grab this water here and oh look at that delicious h2o water molecules are amazing uh, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it's an extremely strong molecule that binds together and does not want to let go of each other. Hydrogen and oxygen. Two hydrogen, one oxygen. And um, it is a part of nature. Oh, I did not mean to do that. A part of nature which is amazing to observe. So let's make ourselves two more pickaxes. It's been a long time since I was in a laboratory and studying science, but from what I remember, water is amazing stuff. And I saw a video of water, a water bridge being made, which is essentially um, water does have uh, does like to bind with itself, and it, it will. You know what? This is the problem. If I start to try and sound smart, I forget about all the things that I've learned, and it doesn't sound nearly as good as I <laughs> would like in the long run. But uh, essentially, water will uh, cling to itself, and as such, you can make a little bridge between two bodies of water, and from that, here we go, this looks like a great area to build a little farm, and from that you can run electricity through it. I saw it on Reddit. You can run electricity through it and that allows... I might do it in the plains area here. It allows the water breach to expand in size. Hello there little goat. Okay. Apologies if you can hear the Discord. Okay, there. So much noise going on right now in my house. Yeah, hello there, little friend. One, two, three. 
Oh, 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 be careful. Do not fall down there. You might have a nasty accident if you jump too high. Oh boy, people are getting attacked in the nether. I'm glad I haven't gone just yet. I do need nether wart. It's very much required for me to be able to brew potions. But right now I'm focusing on food and building a little entrance to my to my house. You can hear our little dog making plenty of noise right now. He's probably very upset because he's, uh, I don't know where, he's probably locked out somewhere. Uh, oh, got another seed to drop down. There we go. It's not much, but it's a nice little start. Okay. So I need a way, I need to find a way to be able to record my recordings without the issue of my keyboard making too much noise but that's something for me to worry about in the near future because I do maybe if I move the microphone a little bit closer to there and further away that might have some effect I do not know I hope it does though and I guess I, when I listen back and watch back I'll find out oh boy I do get very lost very easily around here so I should have myself little arrows pointing to me <laughs> which direction to go to if I'm if I have strayed far from home but I didn't think I was that far away there's the lava i need to make sure that i head towards the lava and that way uh, i'll know i'll be able to find home again there's my staircase you know what just for the time being to ensure uh future uh, future me future edward can find this i'm putting a torch just there that will help me uh, at night time and it will hopefully help me during the day okay there and down we go. We got we have mobs around here, but I'm not too worried about them just yet. They don't seem to want to spawn inside this area. Uh, it might help just to light it up a little bit more. I don't know. Goodness me! It sounds like yeah, I'm on top of a, a nasty little area of zombies. But right now, I'm focusing on my design because I don't want to be distracted anymore. And I'm going to build out this here because I will be working on this very scary ledge and <gasps> oh my gosh that <laughs> made me jump I thought I was plummeting down oh boy so I've got my design here I'm looking at it it's a lot larger than what I was going to do but I'm using it just as a general a general design and so we are going to put down some basalt and I'm going to need to build myself another staircase I think so that way I can maneuver myself again when you don't have bamboo life is a lot more difficult and I'm not really much of a builder but today before I jump off this server I want to make sure that I really leave my mark and people know the kind of well down-to-earth nice guy that I, I can be not to toot my own horn or anything like that now okay so like that that, like that. I'm just working this out in my head. And you know what? I think the natural way the rock goes there is pretty much ideal to what I'm going to need. Okay, so far, so good. Of course, I'm going to I'm going to build it, go across the way over there, and look back and think, oh boy, <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> well, that's all part of Minecraft, is it not? Okay, and uh, I'm definitely going to need some more basalt, I think. If I'm, I'm going to need a lot more. We are at base. Okay, well, people are chatting, people are talking, which is always good. Uh, yoy, yoy. I'm going to build myself a little jumpy bit there. Oh, boy, I'm a little bit too far away at the moment. Hmm. Uh, think about it. Let's grab myself uh, there is, some cobblestone. Won't be too upset if this disappears, so I'm just going to build a ledge out this way. Mainly so I can observe what I'm doing. Like an artist will step back from his canvas. I too would like the chance to be able to look at my work, see what I think, and... Yeah, 
give myself the chance to to mull it over at a distance. Now, so far, that looks pretty splendid in my books. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but don't worry. It will look like something. Walking backwards is a, bit, a little bit concerning. Um, okay, so I think maybe one more over. So that's one, two, three, four. So two there, maybe three, uh, maybe two. One, two, two, and then another two, and then that way. Yep, I'm just going to literally follow that around. <gasps> oh no! It was going to happen sooner or later, was it not? <laughs> we can't be too upset. That's what happens when I don't put safety railings out. Oh, you know what? That's what happens when I don't have safety railings. And I think that was all my basalt as well. <laughs> no. Oh dear. Well, I think uh, my project uh, taken a step back. Um, I guess I could work with cobbles cobblestone. Cobblestone. Cobblestone will certainly do the job. Uh, won't look as grandiose as I'd hoped, but again. It's one of those things, is it not? Not too worried about it. Ah, dear. Though I will need to make myself at least one more pickaxe. And I won't make myself a shield because I'm going to chew through all my all my delicious uh, iron ore if I do. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's see. Oh, a lot of people are still on. A lot of people are still playing, which is nice. Oh. There we go, it's just as I said, Crystal left, and Crystal was the nice lady I spoke to that was from over that way. Now, uh, for the time being, I'm just going to quickly do this. Uh, again, I don't have too much of a time restraint, but I don't want to be recording all night, and uh, I do get very tired, <laughs> obviously. Well, I think I decided that I could follow this natural design of the mountain. There, while I des design this. Oh dear, don't tell me basalt's gone forever. Basalt has gone forever. Oh dearie me. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? Not even basalt. Okay, well... Building on the side of a mountain like this is uh, <laughs> wasn't the brightest of ideas for me, but I was excited, and um, I figured it wouldn't be too hard. But it looks like I'm eating my words now, doesn't it? So we are going to have a look. We are going to put this across here, and one there, and it was one, two, one, two there, I think, and then two down the middle. Oops. Okay, work with what we've got. And wait, so that's two down the middle. We have two more. Trying to make sure I've got this lined up nicely. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then literally the next block is I'm mirroring this. So uh, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. And you'll be able to, hopefully, it will translate. It might look a bit rubbish for the time being, but I'm trying, and that's all that matters. You know what? One thing I've learned about being creative when it comes to anything, music or art or graphic design or anything really, is that it doesn't matter if you are the greatest artist or just starting out. As long as you are enjoying yourself, that is what matters, because really, it's the enjoyment you get from doing these little projects that make make to make for, uh, well, life enjoyable, doesn't it? So, I am just going to be building on a bit further from what we have here, 
Going to go to my little ledge. We're going to have a little look of what we've got here. So far, it's looking pretty darn nice, isn't it? Oh, Ghosty has left the tube. The tube? Ghosty tube has left. Um, okay, so I don't have any... Mm, okay, okay, I'll see what I've done here. I'm going to have to see if I can build myself out a little bit here. I can do that. I most certainly can do that. Thank you. Now, uh, before I decide... I'm just going to double check, make sure what I am going to do is right. So we've got a block coming down that way, and then, uh, okay, so it's like a bit of a zigzag. My ear is itchy. Excuse me one second. Ay, ay, ay. Itchy here. Sorry, microphone. I do apologize to the people at home. I didn't mean to hit the microphone, and I'm sure it wasn't a very nice sound for you. So we're going to go here, and... I think that was just one block, way too high for me. No, it wasn't. That was perfect. <laughs> I shouldn't doubt myself like that, should I? Okay. Oh dear, well that wasn't meant to be. So we're going to take that. And if, you know what? I can take all these blocks here. They're not exactly necessary, are they? Now, uh, I just realized that tree... Yeah, it's growing right on the side of that mountain. Uh, for a minute there, I thought it was growing out of the side. I've never seen a tree like that in Minecraft. Okay, cool. How do we make this look interesting? I think like that. More, you know, I've got a, a digital picture. A, a picture off of the internet. And I was like, okay, shrink it down to size. And I uploaded it to a website that will convert an image into a Minecraft image. Uh, or I guess into blocks so you can see what blocks need to go where and how to make it. So, um, hmm, well, I'm not too sure about that. Not too sure about that, but that's okay. We are experimenting for the time being. And whatever comes out of it hopefully be what I have in mind. Might not necessarily be, but it might be. Okay, oops, I could not see what we have there. Yes, okay. I've certainly got my finger down on the shift key because I want to be safe. Quickly running out of cobble as well, and this is my only cobble that I've got. Hmm. Oi, oi, oi. Well, it's not as grandiose as I'd hoped, but it certainly gets the message across, doesn't it? At least I hope it does. It looks a little fat though, so I'm just going to chip away. Uh, do we have any more resources? You know what? Let's just clear out some of this stone right here. And I can use this for the time being. And I'm not a big fan of granite. Oops. So I might... I can use granite as a as a means to make myself little ledges. Because if the granite goes down into the void and I lose it forever, I'm not too worried about that. I think I was using cobblestone because, well, cobblestone can be generated with a cobblestone generator. One of the first bits of amazing things that I came across on uh, YouTube when I was coming to making... Uh, having a look at what people make with... Minecraft machines, and I was like, a cobblestone generator, that sounds amazing. And I remember very early on in the days, I learned how to make infinite water, and I was like, wow. And then I was trying, forever trying to find out how to make infinite lava, but not such a thing isn't exactly uh, doable anymore. I think it could be done back in the day, but not so much now. Now, my poor little, if you don't know what it is by now, right now I'm just building a little, it's like a pirate skull. He's looking a little bit thin. Um, it's a poor hungry pirate skull. I'm going to fill out this area here. What I've got, just a natural granite. Hmm. Okay. I think chipping away a bit of the side has helped. 
I don't have a shovel on me, so we're just going to have to remove these blocks by hand. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Let's have a look back at our canvas, see what we've been doing. Um, yeah, 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 looks good so far. I think doing it with a uh, basalt would have made it look a little bit more menacing, but for the time being, I'm happy with what we've got. The issue is, though, we're going to have a problem with the teeth, because uh, we've got an even number. Unless I move it, stretch it out for a bit more, but I don't really want to do that, because then the nose will be a bit awkward, won't it? Right now, it looks like he's just got a, lo a lost tooth. Hmm. We stretch it out. I mean, it is possible we could do that and just have one block for the nose. You know what? There's no harm with trying, is there? And that's the great thing about Minecraft. And back in the day when it was Lego, it was a great thing about Lego too. You could experiment all you want until you find what you like. And, well, that's exactly what we're doing here, isn't it? So I am going to... Uh, oops, down here. Fill those two there. Fill this one here. Beautiful. And we are going to drop back down. Now he's going to be a little off center now because he's stretched out. As you can see, it looks like he's having a look over that way towards the lava. But that's not exactly what I was going to, what I was going for. Uh, and we are going to remove that. We're going to remove that. Oh. And we are going to do that and that. And that there. I think that should be, I mean, it's a bit of a low nose. Maybe I'll make him one higher. I'm pretty sure I can see Endermen <laughs> through the ground there, enjoying themselves. They're allowed to, bless them. Little Endermen having fun, enjoying exploring their caves. And they're allowed to. Endermen are allowed to explore if they want to, why not? Endermen, I think, game theory talked about where Endermen came from. And Endermen are our friends, or... They were essentially like us. Now, he does look a little bit thin. I mean, short. So, I think the next thing I want to work on is... I'm going to make myself a shovel because it's difficult not working with a shovel. Is to stretch his face out a bit longer. Okay, I'll grab that. Certainly burning through the very meager resources that I have for the time being. Put that back there. And we will make ourselves a shovel. I think anything that I'm not using can go back into the pile. Uh, then again, I've just put back the cobblestone and I need that in order to flesh out his face a little bit more. So we're going to stretch it out. The problem is, do we have to pull it in a little bit? Because jaw lines tend to go diagonal. This means he'll have less teeth, unfortunately. Uh, that's the one thing I'm thinking about, but other than that, I'm not too concerned. Okay. Oh dear, goodbye little dirt. Nothing lasts forever, does it? Now we can get rid of this granite as well. Oh, I'm able to rescue some of the granite. I would have sooner the dirt, but that's okay. There's plenty of dirt in these worlds, are there not? Now, before I do destroy, completely destroy this, I'm going to do, do away with a lot of what's underneath them here. I'm going to keep this space. We are going to try adding some teeth. Uh, it's going to be a bit difficult, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to get this under spot to... Having a look, how can we... It looks a little bit derpy, but <laughs> in a cute way, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going for menacing, but um, I don't think I've quite accomplished it just yet. Uh, thinking, what can we do? How can we mix this up to make it a little bit more... A little bit more of something? 
I could add a little bit more width. I would certainly need a lot more cobblestone um, if I'm going to do that. And that way I can expand the nose and make the eyes a bit bigger. But for the time being, I'm just figuring it out. You know, let's grab some cobblestone while I have a think about it, and you and I can we can talk about what's going on. So yes, this is uh, the Unity server. It is a server where I get to meet some um, and play with some very amazing people, and I like that. Uh, I was spoken to by um, Ads, 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 if I'm saying his name correctly, and he was excited to get me involved, and I thought, you know what? One thing I've always wanted to do was join a server, and this has certainly given me the chance to mingle with some very amazing and creative people, some very funny people, and some very uh, colourful people as well. And I've already... <gasps> oh dear, a foxy burned to death. Well, these things happen, unfortunately. And I... Everyone's obviously busy building their own thing. I don't mean to be a, <laughs> a bit antisocial, but I'm just kind of excited like everyone else to get building on the server. And I'm building my evil lair. That is essentially what this is now. Uh, underground. That's not much of an evil lair, but it's definitely my base of operations. Oh, there we are. Grab that too. Thank you. Grab some iron. I'm hearing a lot of skeletons, and it's... I haven't heard them consistently, so it doesn't make me th I don't believe we have a dungeon here. But I'm certainly hearing a lot of z zombies, so I wouldn't be surprised if zombies were spawning, if there was a dungeon for zombies. And if that's the case, I might be able to get myself a... a um, what am I thinking? A, a saddle. And then I can train a horse, but knowing how easy it is to almost fall to one's death in the floating islands, I believe that it might not be on my list of priorities just yet to tame a horse. Okay, there we go. Okay, get rid of what we don't need. Okay, so parrots and the bats. I remember what that is. It's, it's a, a joke on the birds and the bees. Uh, so I think they're breeding animals in that case. So uh, I'm just having a look here. One, two... Probably build it a touch higher and a bit wider. So maybe that's what I'm going to do. That's probably the safer op safer option because I don't want to be going too far down uh, under this world because it's a little bit uh, intimidating being so close to the to certain death that I want to play it very very safe if I can. And I'm just going to essentially build everything up by one. And I'm Hoping this will have the desired effect and across by one as well. Uh, 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 did I do that right? I don't know if I was meant to do that. Then it's three steps down. I don't think I was meant to do that. But you know what? We're going to see what we've done and then come back to our lovely Minecraft canvas and keep working on it. <coughs> yep, take the full damage. That's okay. I'll take the full damage. Now, it's certainly a bit bulkier a bit wider, and I need to get to the sides of him just there, if I'm going to do this right, if I'm going to do this in a way that I like. Okay. <gasps> Someone's already found diamonds, I don't believe it. Well, congratulations to them. Obviously working very hard to get them. I'm busy focusing on building myself a little pirate skull to, I don't know, intimidate. <laughs> I don't think I want to intimidate anybody. But just to add a bit of flair to my lovely surroundings. And, um, let's see. Yeah, like that. And a skull has a very interesting nose design. Looks like uh, not quite what I had in mind, but what I wanted is that. I'm thinking I might make the eyes a bit bigger because they look a little bit sad at the moment. Hmm. And I don't want sad eyes. This poor skull, he doesn't want to 
come across as like he's having a bad day or a toothache. Though, to be fair, if you're a skull, and just a skull, I believe a toothache would really be only your one main concern for uh, while you're existing. I don't know, uh, that's me not thinking about skulls problems, and that's a bit naughty of me. Skulls have problems too, do they not? Okay. We need to be very... We need to really think about our skulls, make sure that they're happy and healthy. Now, I am thinking maybe... There we go, get, get it in the order that I like. Thinking... Hang on, Let's see if I can rescue this piece if I may. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's okay. These things happen. Now, um... Hmm. If I could, I would put it down by one more, and then put the teeth under that. Like this. Oh, there we go. Adds, adds, adds seven is going. Bye, and good night. Oh, Dice got blown up. Dice was the first person I uh, met in this new crazy world. And um, <laughs> he doesn't seem to. I think he wants to keep it on the down low, so let's not uh, let's not upset him. Okay, so we uh, I know what I've got to do. It's just a bit difficult to do it. I've only got 12 pieces of this as well, so right now I'm just going to be as resourceful as possible, not try and lose any more if I can if I can help it. But gravity has a way of pulling things down, and that's what gravity does. And scientists still haven't been able to work out the mysteries of gravity. Okay, there. Okay, I can take these bits away now. So this blue stuff here, I'm guessing I can use shears? I don't know. I don't know. But it's worth something ex uh, trying out. Hang on. Before I go crazy and add some teeth at the bottom. Let's see. It's definitely looking better. I'm almost wanting to add one more row. And uh, increase the eyes somewhat. If I can. And add one more row down. And I think that might do me as far as design goes. Oops. By doing that, though, I think I've just made it a bit difficult for me to put in the, the teeth. So, before I do put in the second row, I will put in the teeth below it. Because building up is a lot easier than building down. Sorry about that. That's, what did I just say? And I did what exactly what I didn't want to do. Okay, so he's got four lovely teeth. I wish I had a gold block. And then I'd give him a gold tooth. Maybe one day, once I've mined some gold. Uh, yeah. It's not looking too bad, actually. Oh, now I've been sitting down for so long. Getting a bit of a numb bottom. And uh, <laughs> didn't realise I've been sitting for so long. It's been that long since I've had a good gaming session that uh, my, I'm, my posterior isn't quite used to it. There we go. Yeah, so how are we going to do these eyes? If I want them to be a bit bigger. Like this, I guess. There we go. And we are just going to chuck in this for the time being. Going to give them very red eyes. Not my intention, but this is the only real resource I've got at the time for the time being. Let's remove these here. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do not drop down. There is a space there between the two things. Uh, okay. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm thinking maybe one across and there. Like that. And putting that. It looks a bit cross-eyed at the moment. Oh, yo, 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 yo. It is not. It is. A f working like this is a little bit scary. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Make sure I've got my fingers on the right buttons. Okay, one, two. And we are going to fill that in. And we shall do the same on the other side. Sleeping through the night. Two. And so the sun is back up. 
It's a lovely little thing that has happening automatically. Uh, there we go. Let's have a gander. Yeah, that's looking cool. I hope. I hope it's looking cool. You know what? I'm certainly not the biggest builder in Minecraft. But I'm happy with what I've got here so far. Yeah, let's, I think... Let's, if, oh, no. Oh, well. Let's, let's uh, get rid of this... All this dirt that seems to be very keen to get away from me and enter the void. That's okay. Maybe I made his face a little bit too long now. I think I have. Could I move things down by one? There's no harm in trying. That might be something fun. That one there. And then we'll make his eyes a little bit lower. We are going to plug up his nose. And do that down. Like this. And we're going to step back and have a look at our canvas and see what we've done here. Well, the eyes are certainly a bit more open now. Um, I feel like filling up that those blocks there that are hiding not hiding these ones here I think because foreheads are pretty big places when it comes to the skull we have a lot of space for our forehead and it's just the way we are designed there we go it's the way our bodies are now it looks like he's up to something Okay, I don't know. <laughs> he's like a, a scheming skeleton <laughs> right here. Oh dear, how are we going to do this? Don't worry, we'll figure it out. And I don't have to be 100% happy with this, do I? Of course not. Life is too short to be upset by such things. So we're just going to get it to a point where I feel happy with it. And uh, what did I do? Gave him big eyes this time. I most certainly did give him very big eyes. Okay, so... No, 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 no. Oh, dear. Well, let's have a look. Got a feeling if I don't pick up those blocks soon. It looks like he's certainly a lot more in the mood for talking. Uh, he looks a bit cheery, though. I wanted him to kind of have a bit more of a menacing look, as if... Oh, I'm just trying to think what's the worst thing that could have happened. Uh, as if... Uh, he's just gone to make himself some delicious toast for breakfast and found out that he's got no honey left. I mean, that would get anyone upset. Oh, I thought I may have done a silly thing, but I didn't. And think about it. Oh, maybe he shouldn't be having the honey because uh, it would add to his tooth decay. And if he does get sore teeth, he's got a moustache at his real eyes. I gave him... <laughs> Sorry, I gave him a little moustache. <laughs> I'm somewhat tempted to keep it, but... <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, that is silly. Okay, let's remove his lovely moustache. I can put it back. <laughs> Sorry, what a silly thing. Oh, jeez. I, I didn't realise I'd given him a moustache by accident with the dirt blocks. Okay, we've gotten rid of that, we've gotten rid of that, and we are going to have a look. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes. Ah, very impressive. Oh, pardon me. Now, there is one more thing I need to do before I call this somewhat uh, delightful skull done. Right, yeah, we are going to do, you know what, I don't know what block we can use in here. I might have to smelt just some regular old stone. And there goes the Discord again. Apologies for the noise. Um, we will smelt us a little bit of regular smooth stone. And while that's going down there, we are going to find our buckets. Did I lose my bucket, or is it right in front of me and I just don't see it? Having a look, I'm scanning it twice. I'm definitely not seeing it anywhere. We'll make a new bucket. For the time being there and I'm going to use this new bucket while that smelts I'm going to grab myself oh. 
this lovely little resource here. And if I can grab it without cooking my toesies, preferably. Okay. There we go. Hot stuff. Oh boy. Hearing that sizzle is very disconcerting. I'll just wait for it to go down, then I can clear out that cobblestone that we've got around the base there. Oi, oi, oi. Wanted to keep some of the cobblestone, if I may. There we go. Okay, let's tidy up this area here, because it did look a little ugly. As practical as it was, it didn't look overly pretty. So we're just going to work with what we've got here. Tidy that up. And I uh, will show you. Yes, I, I hear you below me. Don't worry. We'll sort all that out soon enough. Oh, no. That one. And grab ourselves the smooth stone. And we will... Hmm... I'm worried now that's going to take up a lot of the... Oops. It's going to take up a lot of the space if I do this. But there's only one way to find out. We'll fill in these blocks here. We will... Oops. Put in... There we go. That there. Two, three. And, uh... Oh. <laughs> we'll go around what we've done here. There we go. Chuck that down there. One, two, and we'll see how it looks. Because I thought it would be cool if we have it so that the skull is crying lava. And, uh, it's somewhat effective. Maybe if I try some on the other side as well. I mean, the skeleton's obviously got a very bad toothache, and that's why he's crying. Did I get those other blocks there? I hope I did. Okay, so we can use... Oh dear, don't have much of, <laughs> of the other stuff. I may have to use a bit of granite this time. Let's go grab that other bit of uh, lava that we saw on the wall. And we can... Oh, this one's a lot easier to get to. Isn't that good? There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to be a bit daring. <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 what's going to happen? Oh, not much. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. A little bit anticlimactic, but you know what? It's okay. These things happen. Now, oops, a daisy. Let us... I'm hoping it will look a lot cooler than night time. I'm going to be very fast when I do this, because I don't want to cook my toes and have lava come flowing through. So, like that. And then, you know what? Let's go up one. Make life easier. Down, and down, and whoo, nearly, that was suspenseful. Let's click on the mark. Okay, that's very close. A little bit too close for comfort. Now we're going up here, we're going to have a look, we're going to turn around. Yeah, it's not so bad. I'm very, for my first build, I'm not 100% disappointed in it. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, well, these things happen, don't they? I'm hoping that it tells... It's You know what? I'm hoping that it shows people that I'm very much into bones and human anatomy and uh, how things go with uh, the structure of the skeleton and all that stuff. I'm hoping it shows me off as a very friendly, inviting person, having this lovely skull, crying lava, and, um, yeah, I think it would certainly get the message across. So right now I'm just going to clear away all this here, make my way over to the other island over there, and I think I'm going to call it good for the day in that case, because it is quite late at night now, and um, I do want to go to bed eventually and get some beauty sleep, and sleep is very important for good health. So make sure you look after yourselves in that sense. Now we are just going to remove all this here, remove that. How much more have we got? Okay. Oops. Let's go down. I'm being very careful here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, one thing I've been interested in, I've been looking at old retro video games. I'm certainly collecting the old PlayStation 1 games at the moment. I love PlayStation 1. Um, it's the first console I ever had. And... <gasps> oh, no! 
no. Oh, no, no, no. There goes another bucket and a stack of cobble. Oh, deary me. I hope I've got more cobble in here. Gravel and a site. Oh, no, 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 no. We are going to... Mm, mm, mm. Going to use the spruce we've got here. There we go. We're going to have to make ourselves a good old wooden pickaxe. There we go. And we are going to clear away a little bit of this cobblestone here. Deary me, accidents happen all the time. You know, it doesn't matter. I don't want to ever get mad if I have a fall. I want to find out where these zombies are. That's for certain. So why don't we use our pickaxe and have a little explore. It certainly sounds like it's this way. The problem with the uh, sounds is that it's easy to tell the direction, but it's not always easy to tell the height. Sounds like he's right here. Or she, I should say. Because it could be a female zombie or a male zombie. There we go. It's getting a bit dark for my liking, so I'm just going to come back out. Got enough cobble anyway. And we are going to get rid of that. Get rid of the dirt. Oops, how do we... Okay, cool. This way. This way, indeed. And then we are going to have a little trouble across. Did I get rid of enough of the... I hope so. Let's see what we've made. So, while we wind it up, thank you for everyone for joining me. I'm not too sure if this is going to be a two-parter episode or just the one part. <coughs> I'm going to have to edit through a lot of footage. And um, it's about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. So, I'm hoping I can condense that down into one episode. And this can be the first episode for the Unity Craft, which is pretty darn exciting. Um, very exciting. It's going to have to spend a bit of tomorrow doing that. I think I'll put on some washing. And um, while that's washing in the machine, I will edit the video. And uh, let's... Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm trying to make sure it's a nice reveal for me here. Um, there we go. Oh, I got a little sneak peek. A little sneak peek. Okay. <laughs> there we are. You know what? It's not terrible. Ah, <laughs> He's crying because he thought I... Oh, no, you're not terrible at all, are you? You're a beautiful little skull. Oh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, dear. I think I must have a record for the number of fall deaths. <laughs> at least I know what it looks like. I'm going to have to grab a screen cap of that. But, um, okay, well, there we go. That's that's that there. I think that's it for today. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Remember to take care, look after yourselves, look after each other, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.